Any fatigue? Skin problems? No, and no. Difficulty swallowing? No, and no dry mouth, no soreness of the jaw, no lymphedema, no seizures. Do you want to sit here and do my job? I could. Radiation's going fine. Just a little nausea. Is that why you forgot where you left your wallet? Oh, stop. People forget where they put their wallets. People do that. It was just a little memory lapse, a slip. Nothing more. Have you had any other memory slips recently? Not that I remember. No. You're lying. And you know that I know you are lying. What do you think is gained by that? I think I avoid you blowing out of proportion the fact that I forgot where I parked my car the other day once. And again, not unique to radiation. I want to do a mini mental status exam. Not going to happen. Would you let your patients treat you this way? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Well, then again, you're not me. Thank God. If this is memory loss, it would impact your coordination. Also, your ability to juggle multiple tasks. You would need more in-home care, and your driving would I'm not to... going to give up my car because I might have misplaced my remote. And I didn't misplace my remote. I know where it is. It's on the coffee table next to the National Geographic from June of last year, page 74, two-thirds of the way to an article on medicine in Hawaii, Haiti. Medicine in Haiti. If anything changes, don't forget to tell me. Uh-huh. Ha-ha. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, Sean. Hello. Can I buy you lunch? No, I'm not hungry, and it's not my lunchtime, and I have to get ready for an important MRI. Wait, Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. Can I... Can I talk to you for a second? I had a little incident yesterday. I may be experiencing some memory loss due to the radiation. Yes, memory loss is very common with radiation. I can book you an MRI after I'm finished no, with no, my patient. No, no, no cognitive tests, not here. There are plenty of other hospitals in San Jose that can no test hospitals. you. No hospitals, Sean, no hospitals. I, I can administer these tests by myself, okay? I just, I just need your help. Come to my apartment tonight. We will find out if you're losing your memory. Goodbye. Hi, Sean. Hello. No, Leah? She's out drinking with friends, other friends. I'm her friend, but I didn't want to go, so I'm watching Albert the fish. Okay. Brought some tests. Where did I get my couch? What? It's a memory test. Hopkins Verbal Learning, Kawa. These are memory tests. Some of the questions are harder. We are going to do this right. Where did I get my couch? Okay, fine. You got your couch from the bus you lived in with your brother? Who gave me my bookshelf? The town librarian, Jennifer. And my lamp? Do you know? A teacher. Shannon. No, that's wrong. Her name was Cheryl. What kind of teacher was she? Cheryl Shannon. I, you never told me that. Yes, I did. I'm pretty sure you did not. Oh. What's my brother's name? Oh, come on, Sean. Really? This is stupid. I know your brother's... Your brother's name is Sam. It's Steve. You're losing your memory.
John. You need to give me your driver's license. No, I don't. Do you remember the memory test I gave you? Vividly. Yes, it demonstrated you have a deficit. A deficit. You shouldn't be driving. Dr. Blaze agreed. Sean, that test was supposed to be between us. That's why I didn't want to do it at the hospital. Yes, your doctor needs to be informed of the results of all your medical tests, even tests that are done at home. John, I've been driving for like half a century. I'm an excellent driver, okay? I don't need to give you my driver's license. Okay, then I'll have to notify the DMV. Dr. Glassman? You're not going to notify the DMV, Sean. Yes, I will notify the DMV. Sean, you will not notify the DMV. Dr. Glassman, if you don't give me your driver's license, I will notify the DMV. Dr. Glassman? We have something in common. Neither of us has a driver's license. How do you feel about not having a driver's license? I'm pissed, Sean. You feel pissed? Yes, I feel pissed. I feel very pissed. Because something important was taken away from me and by a friend. You feel very pissed because something important was taken away from you and by a friend. And parroting everything I say isn't helping. I'm finding commonality, Dr. Glassman. I'm inquiring about your emotional state and actively listening by restating your responses. External corroboration enhances our sense of self-worth. Okay. The day after I got my driver's license, you want to know what I did? I went out and bought a 1963 Galaxy Midnight Blue, 1255 bucks. Every penny I earned for the past three years working in a gas station. How do you think that made me feel? You liked it? No, Sean, I loved it. You want to know why? Because a car to a 16-year-old kid means independence, which means he can go wherever he wants, whenever he wants. And that doesn't change with age, Sean. In fact, it means even more. When you took my license, that's what you took from me. I don't expect you to understand, so you don't have to pretend. Is Andrew stalking you? Yeah. It's annoying. We need to stand together and tell him to back off. <laughs> I'm not telling the president he's annoying. He's infringing on our autonomy and inhibiting the free flow of ideas, both of which affect our ability to deliver the best patient care. That sounds slightly better. Okay, I'm in. Are you? No. Of course not. The last thing I'm going to do right now is confront him. I'm the front runner. Not according to Vegas. I'm three to two. <laughs> Guess they don't know that you have double my mortality, right? I'm a trauma surgeon. You're comparing apples to asshats. I resent being called an apple. Uh, infection setting in, but his testicles still show good flow in the doctor. <laughs> Payments. He won't take them. Thinks I'll knock him out and we'll step in and repair them. God, I hate this. Me too. 